Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Wyatt, aka Andy Invader here, bringing you yet another toy review. And today we're taking a look at the Transformers Prime New York Comic Con 2 pack. Today we're taking a look at the uh, Transformers Prime RC mold, Transformers Prime First Edition Bumblebee mold, and two of the human figures that'll come in the uh, First Edition 2 pack of Optimus and Megatron Deluxe Class versions. I don't know exactly what that's called, but meh. Um, these two molds, all these will be released in the first edition wave, due out soon. Um, today, uh, this is November 2011. They're supposed to come out, I think, December 1st. Um, these molds are technically unreleased. That was the cool thing about this two-pack. You were able to get uh, looks at these two main molds uh, first in exclusive decos. Bumblebee is done up like a New York City taxi to give them a New York-esque uh, thing and they you know they went with this to keep it still yellow and black and they went with RC in pink and white deco a lot of people don't like it but my main draw to this set was RC because I wanted a classics RC um, AMA didn't do it for me and I don't have enough money for third party uh, figures like that and lots of third party RC sucked and this one looked really nice to me so and I was excited to see Bumblebee, and you get two little exclusive figures here, which look at now. Also, um, you'll notice that I used to do my reviews on a white background, or at least my newest ones. Um, I've, done, I've switched to black. Uh, I think the dark um, makes figures pop more. It gives the shadows a more natural look, or at least a more uh, studio look. I, I just like the way it looks. I think black flows better. But, um... Let's look at the two minifigures that we have Raph and Jack. Uh, we're going to look at Raph first. Get out of here. Um, here's Raph. I don't know his last name. I don't even know how to pronounce it. But this uh, little guy will come with the two pack of Deluxe Optimus and Deluxe Megatron and a DVD of Master and Students in the first edition line. He has uh, glasses or glasses rims. He has no lenses or anything. Just black pupils, which I don't like. They could have put some white in there. Same with uh, Jack's eyes. I don't like that at all. I might touch that up. Um, you, have, you have these guys with uh, white uh, t-shirts. This is a vest. This is uh, New York with an Autobot symbol. And the rest is basic. He comes with these little bases. And yeah. Go for sees what you get. His head can rotate. And you just... Jack. Head can rotate. He still has his New York Autobot t-shirt. Pretty basic mold and with a removable base. I don't know if the uh, other figures, if the ones with the three, uh, with the two-pack come with these bases. I think they will. Because it's kind of a weird thing to just mold. And then plus Miko. Uh, I wonder if the Miko figure will have one. So We still don't, still don't have a Miko figure out there, but whatever. Uh, these two. We're gonna look at Bumblebee first. Um, when the Bumblebee mold, when we first saw pictures of him, a lot of people didn't like it. I really did dig it. I thought it was a neat uh, new mold. I thought it was awesome. When I got it in hand, it was kind of wonky, but uh, I'll show you that now. You can see him now. He has a really cool car mode. The seams are kind of neat too. We will be getting a second version of this design um, as a different toy in the Robot Disguise line or Robots in Disguise line with a second version of, of Cliff Jumper as well, so um, so yeah, this is one of the molds of this design, or the first one with one blaster. And yeah. The cons with this, I don't like how it has these foggy blue windows. It reminds me of and this is also darker than the camera's picking up. Kinda don't like that. Here I'll just like Yeah, kind of. But, uh, yeah, this is darker than it, it's coming off, but... It, it reminds me of Cannon Bumblebee with the painted windows. It just looks like that, and it looks a lot more like that with the darker orange. There you go. Looks looks bad. The headlights don't look that bad, but... Here, his gun fell off. It doesn't look bad, though. With the stripes, I like how they did this deco. It looks really cool. Uh, with a little engine paint with its... Scraping... Just notice that it kind of sucks. Well, 
That's some weird gradient paint. I don't even know if I could get any of. I'm sure I could, but uh, wow, that sucks really bad. Oh well, nice uh, wheels. I like how they did the wheels. New York taxi. Okay, there's the bottom. Bumblebee, transform him. You want to take this part, pretty much unpeg the doors from this. You want to bring this down, take this whole section, push it up like that, and pull these out, and pretty much there you have his legs, just still tabbed together. Take this panel up here, fold it down, fold all this up. You want to take his uh, doors, you want to here, want to peg them, come in here, take his arms, take this thing and unpeg it from the inside of the door, bring it down, bring that down, take this, his wheel section, fold it out, and rotate this part on a ball joint, take this, rotate it, and that little peg is on the door, will peg into the center of that wheel, rotate this around that way. these and fold them in. Take that windshield, fold it back. Come in here, push these down and raise this up, this midsection. Pull these out. Take this section, this is kind of cool, I like how they did this. Rotate this section around, rotate this whole entire section around. And Push it back down, fold that panel up over it. Now these rivets here, it has he has a, a little thing right there that they should go on to. Some of these click on really nice, some of them kind of just stay there and they move. Mine are the ones that move, mine will click in really great. Um, but, you know, whatever. We're getting a second version of this mold, so I don't mind. Put those on, fold these down. Separate his legs. Fix his doors like that. Situate his head. Put his uh, chest as you wish. Alright, and situate him. And there you have Bumblebee in robot mode. He has a really cool head sculpt, and that looks really, really creepy. I don't like that at all. It looks like his eyes are bloodshot, and he is staring into the deepest, of most part, corner of your soul. Paint fail. There you go. Now he's nice again. <laughs> Fun. His head sculpt's really nice. I like the head sculpt a lot. I just think the lack of paint here is hilarious where it's yellow on the inside and silver on the outside. So you get this effect. People thought Cyberfire was evil. I want that to be the videos. The video thumbnail. If it is, I'll be so happy. Um... He's a really nice sculpt. People say the Autobot symbol is hidden. I don't really mind it. If you don't know, I mean, I, mean, I understand the whole principle of, of seeing it and having it. But, I mean, Bumblebee's an Autobot. So, I mean, I, I just, I don't really mind it. I guess it's personal preference. His chest section is kind of huge, but I don't mind that either. He has a really tiny midsection, but, you know, whatever. Like I said, it, this is the first version of the design. And I think it came out pretty well. This crotch region with all the detail. He has really nice detail sculpted in. Gigantic honking feet, but you know, whatever. Wish I could do something off with the lights, because it's coming off really bright. Eh, there we go. 
really nice uh, sculpt. I think this mold is really nice. Uh, even though we're getting a second one, I don't mind. You can take this, and there's a little post right here and a hole on either side of his arms. And you can pick that in there. Give him this gun. This guy ha ha is awkward and posing because of his articulation. He has weird articulation. His head can rotate. 360 on a ball joint, go look up and down. His shoulders can rotate, but they're on this weird, awkward joint right here. They can go in and out on a tire, uh, bend on an elbow and on a ball joint and rotate. And then they can rotate in the inner, inner part here. Uh, wrist hinge. Uh, waist rotates a bit. Eh, yeah, a lot of it. Let's go forward and back on a ball joint, in and out. Rotate the upper thigh. Uh, bend at the knee and flip pivots. So you can get some cool posing out of him, but nothing, you know, nothing extravagant, or nothing like, you know, so prime Bumblebee style. And that hinge is kind of loose. Wow. That is weird. Never had that problem before. But there it is. There's Bumblebee. That is Transformers Prime. Well, New York Comic Con Prime, Bumblebee. Get out of the way. Bring in RC. A lot of people don't like her because she's pink and white and they think it looks stupid. I like it. I think it looks really cool. Um, not as good as the black and blue at all, don't get me wrong. But uh, I think it looks still neat. Um, I think it's funny putting Jack with a pink motorcycle that is way too big for him or any other human. Um, what to say about it? It's a motorcycle and it's pink. You can take these things off, make her look better, but not that much better. Still a motorcycle, still pink and white. Transformation. Uh, transform it. You want to unpeg these things from the side. Pull them out. Pull them down. Unpeg the legs. Take these. Push them to the side. Pull these forward. You want to straighten those out and make it to where you can peg those in into one of these slots right here. Like that. Fold this down and rotate the section. Um, take the arms, fold them out and rotate them. Out, rotate them, and then come back here and take out this section and fold out her head and put the whole thing back. Then unpeg these, peg these. Then you kind of have to do everything at once here, it's kind of weird. Take the handlebars and push them back, and then pull these forward. Little chest bits. Situate everything, rotate this around, push this in. Instruction show to fold this around and push it in, but it looks abnormal, so just push it like that. You can rotate these around, but they're hindered by the uh, handlebars, so just I just leave them down for simplicity's sake. Um, move everything around, stand her up, and there's Prime RC in robot mode. She has, she has a really cool sculpt. I like her uh, sculpt. The only thing is she has some hindrance I'll get into later, but that just looks really cool. I think that looks awesome. The silver and, uh, and the ashy silver look really good where it's at on this figure. Um, you can see just all the detail that she has and all the color contrast. Normal hands, midsection. She's pretty proportionate. I think she looks really good. 
Her legs are really awesome. How they look. She comes with these, uh, my tripod being retarded. She comes with these arm blades that you can put either, uh, like this normally, or you can switch them around and put them on the other arms, or you can pick them on right here. So, I'm not going to show that because you can kind of imagine how they look on her arm or on her leg. And it's, it, it'll be a pain and make the review a lot longer than it should be. You do get, however, a lot of cool articulation. You get a ball joint on the head and a hinge. Uh, get all that fun movement up and down and around. Waist rotates. Her shoulders rotate 360, but everything gets hindered by this. Goes in and out. Uh, bend at two points of the, of the elbow. Hinge wrist. Legs go forward and back on a ball joint. Rotate the upper thigh. Bend at the knee pretty far. And her foot, her ankle can pivot. So you can get some really acrobatic uh, poses out of her like you do in the show so and put her arm blades on you get some really fun poses so she's a really cool figure and I don't really have much to say about her what you see is what you get pretty much and you put Bumblebee in the shot. And you have the whole set. Well, not the whole set. But, uh... Put some humans in there. And now you have the whole set. And now you have some Transformers Prime figures. These should still be in stock at Hasbro Toy Shop. That's where I got mine. Um, I got them for $40 shipped. Um, so you should, I think they're $33, then after shipping and handling, and then some random fee, it comes to like 40 45 shipped. Um, so if you think they look cool, pick them up, or if you want to wait around for another month for the first edition to come out, I would not blame you. I just got them because I wanted to look at Bumblebee and Classics RC. So, pretty much it. If you have any questions about them, please comment down below, subscribe up there, check out any of these other videos, uh, please uh, like or dislike, and let me know what you thought. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, see you guys in the next review. Uh, later.